Hi, so the home improvement process over here is pretty much complete. I've been mostly moved in. Uh, so let's have a look at how it looks around here. Again, I hope not to do this a fourth time after having moved back into a new dormitory. Um, not as soon as possible, but maybe one day. So technically speaking, this is all just the same stuff that I had before, but it has been arranged a little bit differently than how I did it before. Uh, the tape deck is no longer in the monitor, for example. It's instead over on that corner, along with my amplifier, disk drive, and turntable. If we go over here, though, there's the cubby that used to be over there, and that cubby used to be there, almost in the background. Those are now three paintings from Daddy. And that is a whiteboard which I don't use a lot, but I do plan on using. This actually came from the Ainto of a Dorm Room. You know, except no, always turns on and off. Um, where's the doorbell module, by the way? all standing on top of this very large bookcase. <laughs> I've added a yoga mat here and uh, you know, the keyboard shaft to use the Raspberry Pi locally. Okay, this wall actually is completely new, it used to not be there. But there are many doubts about who you compartmentalize this area into two, so should I find a doom room it becomes easy to rent one part out. And this is how it ended up. So I've got a small hallway that you get in right here. And it connects to both rooms. And there, of course, is my bedroom. Not a lot to see on that side, but on this side, there is two planks filled with art, mostly made when I was a teenager from you know, taking broken electronics apart and putting them back together in different ways. This staircase is used to access the higher of these two planks instead, which, due to a practicality issue, haven't been mounted at the proper height. One almost touches the ceiling, so it's used to mostly contain things that I don't look at a lot. The bottom one contains some of my notable artworks as well as uh, musical instruments and drawing supplies. So moving from left to right here, you can see this was a piece of artwork. Here are all of my musical instruments at. This truck was a project I started when I was a kid and has moved on from then since. So I've got some components I can use for that there as well. Little birdhouse. Oh, I have a birdhouse indoors that I meant for decoration. It's beyond my ideas. Um, I don't even have a garden at the moment. Here's another piece of artwork that I made in secondary school. And here are 60 pencils that I keep use for drawing. As well as all behind that, the A falls. At the top, it's a material from primary and secondary school time. Um, there's Something I made for an invention show. I can't really see a lot on camera. And there are some empty boxes and lids and some spare electrical wiring and stuff like that. And of course over here is the kitchen slash shower. I didn't clean much just for you, but I wanted to show you these uh, soup plates. I use them for everything though. Um, and these were actually from Grandma. He gave them over to Mom, who never used them. And then she ended up giving some of them to me. They're a two-position induction cooktop. In my old dorm room, I actually used to have uh, a gas cooktop. And yeah, I have a lot of great videos about induction technology, but generally it is such a great way to cook. I turn this on and it works. There's no 
um, fuels to light or ignite or any kind of heating element that needs time to heat up. On the other side, got a small refrigerator here. Um, and this plank, which is like a main work plank for cooking. This is where a combination microwave and oven will be. Here's another large cubby which contains mostly kitchen supplies and right against it because of space constraints is actually my shower. <laughs> Again, not much to look at here. It's really nice. Except for the, this switch here. Which turns on off the uh, fan that is in the shower. There's the duct that connects to that fan as well as this uh, hood with a light in it to a grill outside which provides a little bit of ventilation. Next, this washing machine does have a, something to it. Also something quite funny when you go through the uh, programs. Okay. It asked me to do automatic versus Eco 4060. Why is that an Eco program I don't know? And then I've got AI wash. Probably just a buzzword, it means dynamic. It needs to be program designed to adjust itself based on the load, which is something that existed from the nineteen fifties already apparently. And then, of course, I've got my standard programs there. Overall, I only use it once or twice, and it works just fine. Apparently, by the way, another little story that I've heard uh, whilst I was putting this video together and rechecking it was that Mummy didn't really pay attention to the capacity of his washing machine at all, um, which means that it's probably way larger than it should be. Um, I was actually shopping for a washing machine myself at first. Um, I went for a fairly small one, like, I mean, a couple of kilos and nothing more. Uh, I think this one has so much I could go, like, for weeks without refilling it. Uh, if I really wanted to, of course, that is. And here is what is in that little uh, cubby in the kitchen. There are some bathroom supplies and kitchen paper. This is a number of cookbooks. Um, cut, plates, cups, glasses. Here is uh, cooking supplies, including olive oil, pan, bowl, cutting boards and a rasp with multiple sides on it actually. Here are the um, electrical appliances that I use in the kitchen like a mixer and a toaster over there as well as this little radio that I use more often than not as a speaker for my CD player. And these are uh, food items that are shelf stable. Fine on the lowest end at the moment there's just a power cord but that's a spare place to put some things maybe in the future. Next to that are these four smaller pots and a smaller cupboard with my bread, potatoes and stable veggies and some more shelf stable food. And here I've got these freezer bags and uh, bananas. These are going to go on fruit board later. Now it's behind this door that I'll find the hallway that leads down towards the street level. Um, this is a toilet door and there's something weird about this. This mark shows it. When I open the toilet door even a little bit, it the door that leads to the hallway bumps right onto it and it's Unable to be able to change, so I always have to remember to close it down. And so that's pretty much it for this little tour that I've done. Um, there's not a lot to see, but it's changed a lot from how it used to be 
or a kitchen which is a fairly standard kitchen though. I do of course have way less cutlery and that is because I don't have someone I share this room with yet. Uh, anyway, see you next time. Bye bye. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you next time.